hello welcome to our first lesson on vectors and mechanics okay so um in this lesson we'll go through the introduction session of vectors and mechanics okay so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support it okay just look at it and subscribe so that you can support the channel all right let's start so vectors we have it here when we talk about vector what do you mean okay so we said quantity with a vector is a quantity with um, both magnitude and direction okay so the important words here are the magnitude and direction okay example of such things are displacement force velocity momentum and the rest you can think of okay and quantity with only magnitude is a scalar okay so magnitude only magnitude is a scalar okay Alright, so that is a brief definition or a brief definition for vector and a scalar. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our lesson. Presentation of a vector. So this this session is just representing a vector geometrically in, in a geomet geometry way. Okay, so um, you could see that we have this vector from a line from A to B here that I have here. Okay, I'm talking about the first one. Okay, from A to B and I've named something a b okay so with an arrow on top of it okay so that is how you represent the vector first of all it starts from an initial point okay then it ends at a point called a terminal point okay so the a here where i have the green pen here is the initial point and where it is ending is the terminal point okay so you can see that a vector is being represented by a directed line starting or direct how do you put it okay that is the direct some direction is on the line okay so a directed line starting from an initial point and ending from you know um, a terminal point that is the representation of vector okay or you can say the same thing this is also the same as the initial point is the terminal point but this time you're calling the whole vector some small a and using small letters for vectors you either put a bar on top or you put it down so any any way you want to call it that will be okay okay all right let's start let's start with other steps okay so mathematically how do you represent a vector you represent a vector in two ways you can represent it in the cartesian form or in the coordinate way okay so um you can represent a vector a b that i just showed you previously as u i plus v j plus w k in 3d okay so if it was in two in 2d it would have been something like this a b is equal to u i plus v j in other words the same as the i and j is the same as the x and y coordinates okay if you have your coordinates x here and y here the i will correspond to the x and the y will correspond to the j so this one will be in a 3d way the first one so that i get your x y and maybe z okay so that is it so i hope you understand the representation of vectors in mathematical form okay so magnitude of vector we're talking about some magnitude and direction okay so i hope the direction you could see that there was this uh, you know um arrow that was directing where the vector is moving to okay so if you have a magnitude of a vector here and we're saying if having a vector this in 3d a b being in or being u i plus v j plus w k then the magnitude we use this a bar okay some some books use double bar but we use one bar here is the same as the square root of the sum the square or the sum of the squares of individual components okay you could see that you take the i component you, you square it you sum it to the j component squared and you add it to the k component squared okay likewise if it was in 2d then this is how would have done it okay Alright, so we can take an example. Let's say if I have a vector A being equal to, or let's say AB, let me put it that way so that we know it's a vector. It's equal to, let's say, 2i plus 3j, okay? Then this, this can have a magnitude of, okay, magnitude of AB will be equal to square root of 4 plus 9. And this is the same as square root of what? Um, 13 okay you gen it you add you gen it to it okay so 
with the representation of vectors you can represent them in in coordinate way okay some books represent them in their coordinate form okay i hope it's okay now i escaped me that is why i came up we have some definitions to some basic vectors okay you're supposed to know we have the position vector which is a vector having an initial point from the origin o and a terminal point at whatever point you want to talk about so it's like a point vector okay which has an initial point to be the origin and the final point or the terminal point to be the point we are talking about okay and these are represented oa and the um line is this i'm sorry i didn't bring an arrow here there should be an arrow there okay then you go to the zero vector which is actually basically zero vector okay so the length the magnitude of a zero vector is still zero okay sometimes we call it this and it's um um how do you call it a vector that has initial and terminal point to be the same okay and it has infinite number of directions okay that is one thing you should also note about a zero vector okay and um we have a unit vector the unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of one okay and we have co-initial vectors that is vectors with the same initial points okay so if i have a vector say this and that okay i have two vectors a b they are all moving from zero then it means a and b are co-initial vectors okay i hope you can get this all right equal vectors okay so this is vectors with the same magnitude and directions okay everything is okay they are they are having the same thing not necessarily you know um equal component but an equal magnitude and direction the negative of a vector this one too we have we see that it has the same magnitude as, as the vector but then different direction let's see if i have a vector a b okay actually it's not different direction it's supposed to be opposite direction opposite okay if you say different that is uh, a different way altogether or different thing altogether so it's supposed to be opposite direction now with the a vector a b it opposite um how do you call it it negative vector will be b a since the vector a b is like this moving from a to b okay and b a is like this i have the same a b but moving from b to a so they have the same magnitude but different direction okay i hope you get this now so this is it for the introduction of vectors kindly subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe or you have not subscribed yet so that you support the channel also and on this discussion we talk about the addition of vectors okay thank you and see